Have you ever started looking for a place to call home and saw something that was called a co-op and wondered what it was? While they are not as common, co-ops are another great option when it comes to finding a place to call home. Today we're going to be breaking down what co-ops are and what sets them apart from other living arrangements. Let's go. Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, I'm Evan, a real estate agent and mortgage broker here to answer all of your questions. Housing cooperatives, also known as co-ops, are a unique approach to housing that involves shared ownership and communal living. Here are the many things to take into consideration when considering a co-op. With traditional real estate purchases, if you purchase a home or a condo, you own it. In contrast with co-ops, what you are purchasing are shares within a corporation that own the building. These shares give you access to a specific unit and are proportional to the size and desirability of that unit. Cooperatives share the financial responsibility that comes with owning a cooperative. This means the mortgage, the taxes, the insurance, the maintenance, and more. The shared financial responsibility actually makes it more affordable for some individuals when compared to traditional home ownership. Residents pay monthly fees that cover their share of the expenses. These in turn are put into a reserve pool which cover any future repairs or improvements. Becoming a member usually involves an application and approval process by the other members or by the board of directors. You should expect to go through a lengthy process and provide specific documents like proof of income, referral letters, uh, your credit score, taxes, and more. The board of directors will review your application and see if you meet their set values and financial requirements. You will also most likely go through a few rounds of interviews so they can see who you are as an individual. If you get financial and board approval, you will now be allowed to purchase shares of the co-op and become a full-fledged member. Co-op mortgages are different from traditional mortgages because instead of a mortgage on a real property, you are obtaining a loan based on the shares in the cooperative. Co-op lenders may have specific requirements and may evaluate the financial stability of the co-op itself in addition to the individual buyer. You will also still have a down payment and closing costs. Also something to note, you will have monthly mortgage payments and you will still have your monthly co-op expenses. Also something to note, the co-op approval process can be very long and tedious. Sometimes these boards are very set in their ways and can make it very difficult for new members to come on board. If you are in a rush to find a place to live or don't want to deal with that bureaucratic, you know, uh, then applying for a co-op may not be in your best interest. If you do decide to become a part of a cooperative, you are now a part-time owner and must abide by the cooperative's rules, attend meetings, and be a part of the decision-making process. Major decisions are made collectively through a democratic process where each member have an equal vote. Also, the board of directors is voted on by the other members and they oversee the day-to-day -day operations and making decisions on behalf of the cooperative. As a member, you also have access to the shared facilities, so that means you can go into the laundry room, the fitness centers, the meeting rooms, and tons of other locations. If you ever decide to sell your shares of your co-op, please refer to your co-op specific resale restrictions. In most cases, co-ops have the right of first refusal, meaning that they can buy the shares back from you before you sell them to any outside party. The board also has the authority to approve or disapprove of any potential buyers, basically the approval process that we talked about in the beginning of this video. When you live in a co-op, you decide to join a community with shared values and responsibilities. While it might not be appealing to everybody, it does appeal to people who want to have a shared lifestyle. If you have any more questions on co-ops or anything else in general, put them in the comments down below. And until then, thanks for watching. If you liked what you just saw, then click on the video here. Also, if you haven't, like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon so you don't miss any future videos.